I go in today, the things that are going to happen to me are largely immaterial. I'm not concerned. This is completely based on untruths. These two individuals have nothing, nothing upon which to build their lives upon except untruths. I'll continue continuing a life full of joy and happiness, surrounded by my comrades, working hard for the freedom, for the lives of all the people around me, for all the people that I care about, that I know, and also the strangers that my life is also dedicated to working in solidarity with. So I'm going to go in today and continue to carry out that struggle in this very small and somewhat farcical performance. And I thank you all for being here to support me. Thanks. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Susan, get one hand on your wrist, and get one hand hitting you in the face. Uh, yes, and then the chest. The chest was a punch. Which was the one in the face was more like a warning. Like um, what do you say warning to describe um, the impact that it had on your face? It was just kind of like an intimidation thing, like, you know, like this, like, you know, you know get out of here, I'm going to hit you. And, and he did hit me. And um, so I managed to yank the phone back, uh, and then uh, he took another swing with his right, right hand. I was crunched down, and so uh, that one had more minimal impact. Why are you such a coward? Why are you such a coward? Why are you a coward? Why are you a coward? The document itself says that I, the undersigned, find probable cause to leave up on the day of defense in Love County. You willfully, unlawfully did assault and strike Dwayne Dixon. So, so if I may approach, I believe you must dismiss this case. My question now about Charlottesville. Um, uh, can we get an officer of the court to intervene here, please? Dwayne, why are you doing these military appropriate, these war tactics instead of just having a conversation? Just have a conversation about what you're doing, Dwayne. That's all we want. Uh, the facts are clear that uh, Dwayne Dixon did assault me, and he is a violent, very violent person. And. Um, I think that uh, people in Chapel Hill are put in harm's way by the radical, violent riots that he and his friends cause on that campus and elsewhere in this country. And until the media, sir, until the media starts reporting on this violence, we're not going to be able to come together and have rational conversations in this country because we're just going to descend into street fighting out there. And is that what the media wants? It's not what I want. Do you have my computer, sir? They stole it. Did they steal it?